Light Introduction Light is a very essential and useful component of our life. It is a form of energy which enables us to see the beautiful and colourful world around which we live in. For example, when we enter a dark room, we are unable to see the things present there. But as soon as we switch on a bulb, each and every object in the room becomes visible to us. Thus, we can see the things only in the presence of light. Rectilinear Propagation of Light The property of light when it travels in a straight line in a medium is called rectilinear propagation of light. The light thrown from the torch appears to travel in a straight line before it falls on the wall. Similarly, light seems to be travelling in a straight line when a beam of sunlight enters a dark room through a small hole. Activity To experience that light travels in a straight line. Take a piece of rubber pipe. Look at a distant, small source of light through the pipe. Now, bend the pipe gently and try to see the same source of light again through the pipe. This time, you will not be able to see the source of light. Thus, it can be concluded that light travels in a straight line. Applications of Rectilinear Propagation of Light There are few important applications of rectilinear propagation of light, such as 1. The shadow of an opaque object is formed only when it comes in the path of light. 2. When sun's rays fall on a particular portion of the earth, that part of the earth experiences day and the rest of the planet experiences night. 3. The image in a pinhole camera forms only due to rectilinear propagation of light. Pinhole Camera a pinhole camera is a simple camera without a lens. A pinhole camera consists of a box with a small hole in a metal plate at one end and a screen of tracing paper at the other end. When the pinhole is pointed at a light source such as a candle, an image of the candle will appear on the screen. Principle It is based on the fact that that light travels in a straight line. It was first used to view solar eclipse to avoid any damage to the eyes. Working The light from the top of the candle travels in a straight line through the pinhole and the image on the pinhole camera screen is upside down. It continues to go in a straight line until it hits the screen. This means it must strike at the bottom. Light from the bottom of the candle strikes at the top. The image formed on the screen will be blurred if the hole is larger than a pinhole. Factors on which size of image depends There are mainly two factors on which size of image formed in a pinhole camera depends. 1. Size of image depends on the size of the object. 2. Size of image also depends on the distances between the pinhole and the object and image. The magnification can be calculated by using the formula. Magnification is equal to length of the image divided by length of the object is equal to distance between the pinhole and image divided by distance between the pinhole and object. Shadows. When a beam of light shines on an opaque object, the light rays which reach the object are stopped while those rays which pass by the edges continue on their path. A region without light forms behind the object is called a shadow. The object blocks the light so the shadow is dark. Size of the shadow. 1. The size of the shadow depends on the position of the object and its distance from the source of light. The object closer to the source 
will cast bigger size of shadow. 1. An opaque object casts a dark shadow. 2. A translucent object casts a faint shadow. And 3. A transparent object casts no shadow at all. 2. As we move the source away from the object, the shadow gets smaller. 3. When the light shines on an object from above, the shadow appears on the floor beneath the object and it is very small. Types of Shadow The types of shadow that is formed depend on the size of light source. 1. Shadow due to smaller source of light. Umbra If the source of light is very small, only one dark shadow is formed. This is known as Umbra. 2. Shadow due to larger source of light. Penumbra If the source of light is big, such as a candle or a bulb, there will be two shadows, a dark shadow called Umbra in the center and a faint shadow called Penumbra on the outside. Natural Shadows Eclipses Eclipse is a shadow formed in space that makes the sun or the moon invisible for some time. 1. Eclipse of the sun Solar Eclipse If the moon comes between the sun and the earth so that the earth darkness during the day, solar eclipse occurs. Since the sun is large, tiny shadow has an umbra and penumbra. If you stand in the umbra, the sun is totally blocked and it is called total eclipse. If you stand in the penumbra, you see partial eclipse. Never see directly at the sun because it may damage your eyes. 2. Eclipse of the moon Lunar eclipse When the earth, the moon and the sun are in a straight line such that the earth is in between the sun and the moon, the shadow of the earth falls on the moon and the moon cannot be seen because it cannot be illuminated by the sun. However, some light falls on the moon due to the earth's atmosphere. Therefore, the moon does not disappear but appears reddish brown. So, the moonlight does not reach the earth and it becomes a dark night. Hence, the shadow of the earth on the moon causes a lunar eclipse. It is also of two types, partial lunar eclipse and total lunar eclipse.